Dear friends of missions, dear partner, I send you greetings here from Kurdistan. We've been here a couple of days now. Uh, we started to, by coming in by car from Turkey. You can't fly in here because the entire Kurdistan is closed. All our traffic is, is blocked from outside now because of politi political situations. So we came in by car and we came to the western parts where we are right now. Uh, part of building up a project, a safe house for Yazidi women who have been sex slaves in the IS territories. We have a missionary there since one year and I, I was really happy to see her and also to hear her stories. It's really great to see how she has come into that community of Yazidi people living in, the, in that town where she is working. And, uh, also very touching of course to hear these horror stories uh, you know what these ladies have gone through they have been so sold as slaves kept as slaves some of them still have the children in there they fled out of there and these children are still in there so so there's so much pain there's so much horror there's so much so so much hurt that is still there and and that's why it's so important also to come and help these people because they get very little support from their own people they are looked upon with suspicion and and they are not fully integrated back into their society and they will probably never get the chance to get married so so this is a very difficult situation so that's why it means so much that somebody comes and just shows them unconditional love and it's so great to see this this lady that works with us there and how she reaches out and see how she's received by these women. Uh, they're hugging her, she's hugging them, and, 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 and you can see that there, 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 is, there is a bond happening there. We are waiting to complete the safe house now. We, we just want to complete the, the bathrooms and put in some windows, and then we are actually very close to, to, to being able to bring in the 28 ladies that we can we have room for that in that safe house so we still have a little way to go there's some more money that needs to be raised and some more work to do but when that is done we can also start to work more more focused in that very place of that safe house it's also special to be in that region of course because when you stand there and you look out southward you see the river Tigris you see the Mount Sinjar where the Yazidis took refuge during the massacres 2014 and also knowing that 4,000 years ago Abraham passed through there on his way to the land of Canaan Mosul is the you know you can almost see Mosul or the ancient Nineveh that's where Jonah came and that is also a sermon in itself to how, how God is caring for, for the people of Assyria back in the Old Testament times. God is a missionary God. He also sends the prophet Nahum. He, he worked there and he, he died there and he was buried there. And also when you talk about the New Testament, we have the apostle Thomas and apostle Judas Thaddeus. He came there and preached the minister there. So, so it's Bible territory, really. And uh, after that, we have come a little bit further now. We're further east, and we're not very far from the border to Iran. And uh, it's a very sensitive political situation here, not very far from here. There was hostilities happening about two months ago. There were big battles, and, and to come here, we had to take, an, take an extra, another route to come in here, so, because the main road is blocked. So, so the, here in this part we are right now running a Bible school and it's really great to meet these people. Uh, yesterday I talked with a young guy, he, he came to Christ about six, years, six months ago. He has a background as a radical Muslim, but now he's radical for Jesus and, and he's so hungry and you can see his face is shining and, and he wants to get to know Jesus better, he wants to get into the Word of God. I asked him, you know, does your family know about you, about you uh, and your Christian faith? And he said, no, you know, if they know, it's this. So this is actually a reality today that Muslims they convert to Christianity, they come to Jesus, they also risk their life or they risk severe persecution. But what is positive? And I, I had a very good interesting speech, uh, talk with a with a past, pastor actually in, 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 uh, in another city or nearby here and he said like this that there are things happening here in Kurdistan now that that there is a trend toward greater religious freedom that people will actually be able to go from Islam to Christianity without any repercussions from the, from the society and they are so tired of Islam they're tired because it's an Arab religion it's an Arab Quran written in Arabic and now they had IS and this Arabic 
speaking extreme Islamism and they're so tired of it and they, they're looking for something else and we have something to offer and they know that and, and, and they don't say it publicly but they come to Christian leaders and they say you know if you do this if you do these projects and you know we will help you and we'll support that in that way we can create an other environment here in our country so this is very important this brother also told me something and I, I love what he said he said that the fact that you're just coming to our country in this time of need is a sermon itself and immediately when he said that I was thinking about Paul's expression to the Corinthians he says that you are epistles of Christ your letters written by Christ it's the Spirit of God that writes on your heart so the fact of just showing up the, the fact is just coming to places in need is a sermon itself and I just want to encourage you back home also that this is what you're a part of you know you might not be able to travel to this place yourself but you're part of it you're praying for it you're supporting this and it is as you are going yourself you are an epistle of Christ that is sent to the nations so thank you for being part of that and doing and and, and, and helping us to do to do what we're doing right here I was, as I travel in here we you know we travel through the mountains and, and this let this uh, verse from Isaiah came to my mind very strong and it's Isaiah 52 7 it says that how beautiful is the sound of the feet of those that bring the gospel they come over them the mountains and they bring the good news and this is what we want to do we want to come over the mountains and we want to bring good news we want to support the Christians here we want to help and strengthen them in their faith and equip them for ministry and, and this is so precious and I really believe in a good future for for the Christ for, for the Christian faith here it's not easy it's a big challenge but God wants to plant something precious and strong here and this is what you're part of so thank you for for, for working together with us in this and and uh, Let's continue to do, do good, to do the good work and let's be epistles of Christ to Kurdistan and also to the rest of the world. So God bless you here from Kurdistan.